Today's story is going to be another George and Martha. And today when I was walking, I was thinking, I have a friend named George, and his wife's name is Marie. It's similar to that, but George is going to be 90 years old. And um, anyway, this just I was thinking about George and Marie and George and Martha. But I'm going to read the next story, which is called The Disguise. Have you ever dressed like something else and pretended to be something that you weren't? This is called the disguise. George decided to dress up as an Indian. This disguise will really fool Martha, he chuckled. She'll never recognize me. But Martha wasn't fooled a bit. Hi, George, she said. Why are you wearing that Indian costume? George was so disappointed he walked away, hanging his head. Martha felt simply awful. She hadn't meant to hurt George's feelings. George, said Martha, I would have never recognized you if it hadn't been for your bright, smiling eyes. It's so hard to disguise smiling eyes. And of course, George felt much, much better. The next story after that is called The Beach. Have you ever gone to the beach? I like to go to the beach sometimes, but not when the sun's too bright. One day, George and Martha went to the beach. I love the beach, exclaimed Martha. So do I, said George. However, we must be sure to put on our suntan lotion. Yep, you need to do that to protect yourself. But Martha refused to put on her suntan lotion. You'll be sorry, George called out. Oh, poo, said his friend. You're a fuss budget, George. Martha was having such a lovely time. Ooh. The next day, guess what? Martha had a terrible sunburn. She felt all hot and itchy. But George never said I told you so because that's not what friends are for. <gasps> Have you ever gotten sunburned? It can really, really hurt. The next story I'm going to read is The Gruff Brothers. The Gruff Brothers. I love this story. Look at the Gruff Brothers. Oh, three of them. There was once a meadow full of animals. There was a red fox, a green snake, a white sheep, a yellow duck, a bluebird, and three billy goats. And they were brothers, and their last name was Gruff. My last name is Blackwall, but their last name was Gruff. The animals called the brown... Billy Goat, Little Gruff, because he was the smallest. And they called the Black Billy Goat, Middle Gruff, because he was bigger than Little Gruff. And they called the Black and White Billy Goat, Fiddle Gruff, because he played the fiddle. And he was the biggest of the brothers, and he had long, pointy ears. The brothers spent their days eating sweet green grass and tasty yellow flowers. But at night, Big Fiddle Gruff would play his fiddle, and all the animals would dance. The fox and the snake made a funny couple. The bird flapped her wings and the sheep and the duck whirled around and around. Oh, what fun they had together in the meadow. Little Gruff and Middle Gruff tap danced while Fiddle Gruff played. Their feet went trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. But before too long, all the sweet green grass and the tasty yellow flowers were eaten up. And the animals were soon too hungry and too tired to dance anymore. One day, Little Gruff said, Well, look at that bridge. I see sweet green grass and tasty yellow flowers on the other side of the river. Let's go over the bridge. Oh, I wouldn't, shouted the red fox. Don't, said the green snake. Wait, said the white sheep. Hold on, said the yellow duck. You can't do that, said the bluebird. Oh, they were all warning him. Why not, asked Little Gruff. Because, said Middle Gruff. Because why, asked Little Gruff. Because a wicked troll guards the bridge, said Fiddle Gruff. What is a troll, asked Little Gruff. I'll tell you, said his big brother. He has eyes as big as saucers. He has a nose as long and crooked as a snake, and he has teeth like a tiger's, 
and green shaggy hair. Whoa, he sounds awful. All the animals were afraid of the troll, but little Gruff said, I am going over the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, and he started over. The troll roared. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It, it's only me, little Gruff. I'm going over the bridge to eat green grass. I'm going to gobble you up, roared the troll. Oh, no, don't eat me, said little Gruff. I'm, I'm much too small. Wait until middle Gruff crosses. He's much bigger than I am. Oh, pickles and popcorn, said the troll. You are much too small. Go on, go on over the bridge. So little Gruff went across, trip trap, trip trap, and into the meadow. And there he began to eat sweet green grass and the tasty yellow flowers. Mmm, it was so delicious. I can fool that troll too, said middle Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap. He started over the bridge and the troll roared. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Oh, it's only me, Middle Gruff, and I'm looking for sweet green grass. I'm going to gobble you up. Don't do that, said Middle Gruff. I'm too small. Whew. Wait until Fiddle Gruff crosses. He's much bigger than I am. Oh, pickles and popcorn, rolled the troll. I am very, very hungry, and you are too small. Go on across. Soon Great Big Fiddle Gruff saw his brothers eating sweet green grass on the other side of the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap. He raced onto the bridge. The troll roared. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, Fiddle Gruff, and I'm very, very hungry. Me too, roared the troll. I'm going to gobble you up and here I come. <gasps> the troll's eyes were as big as saucers and they were popping. His nose as long as a crooked snake was twitching. His teeth like a tiger's were grinding as he roared. Big Fiddle Gruff felt afraid. He wanted to run, but he didn't turn back. Instead, he lowered his long pointy horns and he butted the troll with all his might. The troll flew off the bridge and tumbled back into the river. The last anyone saw of him, he was swimming away as fast as his shaggy green arms could paddle. Then the red fox, the green snake, the white sheep, the yellow duck, the blue bird, why, they all rushed, rushed across the bridge. They ate sweet green grass and tasty yellow flowers all day. And that night when the stars came out and the moon was bright, what do you think Fiddle Gruff played? His fiddle. While the fox and the snake and the sheep and the duck and the bird flapped and they clapped and Middle Gruff and Little Gruff tap danced. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. And that's the end of that. Oh, I always loved that story. And this one is called Tuck Me In. Do you like mommy or daddy to tuck you in? It's called Tuck Me In. <gasps> it's time for bed. Who needs to be tucked in? I do. Good night, baby pig. Who else needs to be tucked in? I do. Aww. Good night, baby zebra. I wonder who else needs to be tucked in. I do. There you go. There's your blankie. Good night, baby elephant. Who else needs to be tucked in? I do. Okay. Good night, baby alligator. Look at that alligator. Who else needs to be tucked in? Oh, I do. Good night, baby moose. I wonder who else needs to be tucked in on this starry night. Oh, I do. Oh, good night, baby hedgehog. Who 
Who else needs to be tucked in? I do. Good night, baby peacock. Does anyone else need to be tucked in? Do you? Do you want to be tucked in? Oh, take your blanket and pull it up. And you're going to be tucked into bed when mommy and daddy can give you a kiss. And I'm going to send you a kiss. Good night, everyone. I love you. Amen.